somehow when you got bigger you little bit lose the lines mm. Mm, can do i don't think you, have. So far, you, get you, you so haven't thick. yes but uh, sometimes you get so thick that the lines are uh, not that pronounced that when you are skinny yeah well because i remember when i be lightweight i flex the triceps i have lines and here lines mm. and when i start to bulking a bit it's a little bit disappeared yeah and always 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 the bodybuilders they oh feel heat is being very very good at the beginning because he been a little bit smaller with deeper lines but if you bring them together and compare not sure if the smallest version will beat well I, I think that's why they brought along things like the 212 and the classic because some of these lighter guys or shorter guys were getting bigger to compete as open and they were blowing their physiques apart they weren't looking very good so that's then it. you saw like um like flex like say someone like flex lewis there's a guy that might actually look better as a 212 than as he does as an open if we see him as an open at 225 it's very he might not be as good he might not be as good but I think Flex uh, Lewis is so much professional, so much know what he's doing. If he will think he will not look that good, he will not compete in the open. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, and think, yeah, yeah. So much deep in his lines. Yeah. So if he adds some uh, muscle tissue, maybe he will lose a little bit of this uh, deep. Yeah. But he still uh, be much more deeper than the other guys in the open that's a very good point it's like um when rami won the new york pro in 2000 and 12 12 13 if you actually this is the so, best version best version there you go there you go yeah exactly so some people think that he actually was like if you look at his legs in 2012 when he won the, the first new york pro sorry 2013 his legs were really separated and shredded and now the they're small, just bigger the but small, not as good the small ronnie coleman uh 98 just the small body shame the small me everyone yeah. like the smallest version with the deep lines yeah but the judges reward something else the judges want mass mm. and gigantics freaks yeah. <laughs> freaks yeah yeah but freaks, then again freaks, then again they... then again you know we had guys like sean roden and cedric mcmillan who were more classic and aesthetic no, maybe not so classic but they're more aesthetic and they're doing very well you know? When Sean Roden won the Olympia, I said, oh. yeah, maybe classic structures yeah, are starting yeah. rewarding. Yeah. But it's next year didn't happen again. <laughs> uh, Danny, I apologize for asking this question, but I know that people are going to ask it. Uh, what would your weight be if you were a classic? What would it need to be? Sorry for asking mm. that, but I know I'm going to no, no, get... It's okay. It's okay. You can ask me everything. Um as I know my body, my body is kind of hybrid between open bodybuilding and classic physique. Yeah. I'm like 60% open, 40% classic physique. Yeah. My calves are big, my legs are big, but my waist is small and I don't know uh, how much I need to weight, but I need to lose a lot, like 20 right, kilos. Okay. 